After building the library, and in fact if you look at my <laughs> electronic uh, filing system, the idea was we're building a library. And we thought that would be it. But then they needed a science lab. The girls were walking several kilometers to another school just to use the science lab. And so we did our next fundraiser, raised enough money to build a science lab. And then we realized, you know, there's not a lot of power there, um, reliable power, I should say. And so we did a solar energy system. Um, they did not have good lighting. So initially, until we got the solar energy system, we got them some lanterns they could use and study by at night. We helped them get water tanks. We helped them expand their dormitories and furnish the dormitories. Now, dormitories at that time were wood-framed, corrugated metal siding um, with the same sort of structure for their bathrooms, which are basically the, the hole in the ground, which many times you see over there in Africa. And uh, same thing with their showers. And so um, that led to another project um, to build a more modern dormitory, but very primitive in our terms here. It's just one big room with a much better bathroom now. And so you have about 220 girls right now living in one big room with bunk bed next to bunk bed next to bunk bed <laughs> lined up. And um, that was thanks to the Sisters of Charity of Leavenworth who gave us a grant that allowed us to build that building.